I congratulate Jawaharlal Nehru Institute of Banking and Finance for having completed 25 years. This institute was started in 1991. Then it was named as Jawaharlal Nehru Institute of Development Banking. This Volkhoff Institute of Knowledge has always played an essential part in the growth of IDBI Bank by providing the much needed academic support besides catering to the in-house training and development needs of the bank's workforce the institute offers its expertise to other banks and financial institutions in the country as also in other developing countries the year 1991 the year that idbi india's leading development finance institution established the jawaharlal nehru institute of development banking on a sprawling 50 acre campus at gachiboli hyderabad idbi was the apex financial institution we were offering programs mainly in project appraisal then in human resource management in personality development we did one program on foreign exchange derivatives and for that we got computers from outside that was the starting point of uh, idbi to create a culture of learning through genidb we learned a lot Uh, over there not only in terms of inputs in so far as our uh, academics or our work was concerned but also in terms of i would say how to behave yourself how to conduct yourself how to meet with clients how best to express your thoughts how to present the ideas that the bank actually wants you to put across to your clients since the very beginning jnibf has aligned itself with the objectives of the bank and has provided much needed impetus for the bank's overall growth it has helped individuals sharpen their skills and enabled them to acquire prowess to grow independently chain idb was really a concept which only idbi could think of this is where we would get all experts from academia from the world of finance from the corporate world from all over the world to come and think So the concept of JN IDB was world class because IDBI was world class. To ensure that JN IDB provided world class facilities and amenities that would rank among the world's leading learning centers. The project design and execution was commissioned to eminent architect and urban planner Charles Courier. The impressive complex is widely acknowledged as a creation of design and functionality and has been split into three distinct zones the academic area the students housing and the faculty housing within the salubrious environs of the complex the academic zone houses six air conditioned lecture halls of different seating capacities as well as 10 syndicate rooms for group activities A well-equipped conference room has been built to comfortably accommodate 35 delegates. Participants can freely avail of the institute's two computer labs that are equipped with 85 advanced systems. A 150-seater state-of-the-art auditorium is also available at the institute for its many events to cater to the demanding information needs of the participants as well as faculty. The institute has built a learning resources center that is both spacious and functional in design and equipped with ergonomically designed furniture and fittings. The institute has a modern, well-maintained kitchen to ensure hygienic standards and serves nutritious meals through the day in the adjoining dining hall that can accommodate 100 participants at a time. The housing zone at the campus has 120 air conditioned residential rooms with modern amenities both for single as well as for double occupancy for students and visiting faculty keeping in mind the need to provide periodic recreation breaks to participants during their hectic study schedules the institute has in place a number of recreational spots within the campus that allow them to indulge in a sporting activity of their choice Should the need arise, an experienced doctor is available on call and medical treatment extended if required. The sweeping economic reforms had thrown up ample business opportunities. The institute's mandate was therefore 
to ensure that the course participants were imparted high-quality training to empower them with best-in-class knowledge and the latest job skills. My first task was to contact all bank chairmen. What kind of programs you would like to have from us? Invariably, they said we want only two or three things. One, project appraisal having the flavor of IDBI. So immediately I decided that I will invite senior people from IDBI to conduct these programs based on the experiences, case studies uh, that evolved within IDBI. And we conducted a few programs in that fashion. Then bankers started coming. Apart from the Institute's core experienced faculty, additional resource faculty was drawn from senior domain experts. Experienced professionals from reputed institutions in India and abroad. A few programs were also conducted by reputed international agencies. We invited the Euromoney PLC based in London. They conducted a program for IDBI. The program was found very good. The program was on infrastructure financing based upon their experience worldwide, global experience. Then we got a program conducted by the New York Institute of Finance. We conduct courses on retail banking, like on PSL, then operational risk and fraud monitoring. And in the corporate banking segment, we have a project appraisal where we have specialization as also in working capital finance. At present, we have about 60 standardized programs which have been designed based on the inputs from various stakeholders. I am very happy that uh, the courses are so beautifully structured that they are in resonance with the learning needs of uh, the participants here. It wasn't long before JNIDB had become widely acknowledged as a training center of repute in the banking and financial services arena. This recognition led to the Institute being assigned a number of training programs for developing countries under the aegis of the South Asian Development Fund and Association of Development Finance Institutions in Asia and Pacific. In 2014, JNIBF had the honor of receiving the prestigious ISO certification in recognition of its high quality standards. This institution has done a tremendous contribution for training in all respects, not only just the banking, health, ergonomics, stress management, and ecological learning, living with the nature. The most important thing what I liked about the Institute is that they maintain a, a good balance between uh, work and life. You have to work on those assignments for long hours. At the same time, you have got a good ambience to enjoy during the stay in this Institute. JNIBF as a training institute uh, has evolved a lot uh, from 1991 to today. Uh, the what we need actually to impart to our trainees is quite different from what we were teaching in 1991 or I would say even up to maybe late 2000s. We also have a whole lot of people who are in the age bracket of 23, 24 to maybe 30 who need to take this bank forward and this is the right time when a whole lot of grooming actually needs to be done. IDBI Bank, now standing at a point of inflection, has set out ambitious targets for itself and has already started implementing the prudently chalked out business transformation plan. Continuous upskilling and training of human capital plays a crucial role in any transformation process. Recognizing this, the bank has entrusted JNIBF with this massive task of catering to the training and development needs of the workforce. This glorious institute of knowledge has always provided the much needed impetus for the bank's growth by living up to its expectations and I firmly believe that the institute will continue to do so in future as well. This institute should actually now emerge in the international arena. Our collaborative efforts will certainly help the bank in achieving greater heights and realizing our vision of becoming the most preferred and trusted bank. Best wishes to JNIBF in its journey forward. JNIBF, on its part, is committed to transforming into a catalytic agent that will drive growth of people and organizations through best-in-class training and development programs for the crucial banking and financial services sector.
in India. JNIBF, Jawaharlal Nehru Institute of Banking and Finance.